As the legislature continues to meet on the budget, Governor Eddie Calvo and his fiscal team wait in the wings, hoping they'll be able to present their $343 million bond proposal to pay out all past due tax refunds. It was last week it was announced the Democrats scrapped the governor's bond plan out of the budget and instead this week adopted Senator Ben Pangolinan's proposal to borrow $180 million, of which $120 million would go to pay tax refunds. Guam Economic Development Authority Administrator Carl Pangolinan. I think that's that's really the the basic request is just you know I mean hear hear us out let us uh, you know let us give a chance to to show what exactly um, you know our our plan entails how we plan to pay it off why we should do it why we should do it now and in to answer a lot of these questions that that, that are kind of being thrown out there uh, in in different channels. However, just getting the chance seems to be the biggest struggle. Governor Cavill has stated that by April of next year, more than 146,000 individual tax returns and more than 345 corporate flyers will be waiting for over $350 million of their own money from GovGuam. Cavill adds that he finds it, quote, disturbing that opponents of my bond borrowing plan already have forgotten the devastating financial effects of a government forces to own up to its responsibilities by federal court mandates, end quote. Committee Chair on Appropriations Senator Ben Pangolinan delivered the weekly speaker's address on behalf of Senator Judy Wampat. The veteran policymaker used the time to compare his bond with the governor saying his proposal is what we can afford. The governor's plan wants to take us to the edge of the cliff, max out our ability to borrow, get creative with deferred interest and deferred uh, uh, interest payments on our debts today. We will borrow to pay our debts today and not pay the new debt for the next two years. And things will be better in two to three years, and we can afford that payment. In response to the senator, Carl Pangolinan says it's actually quite the opposite. He says the key thing to note with the governor's bond is there are two years of debt relief in terms of capitalized interest. When the first debt service payments do come out, um, you know, there's, there's some um, items that are being matured that come off the books. I think that's to the tune of about $12 million. Uh, and then on top of that, I mean, um, you know, just the interest that we're paying on this past due alone, um, last year in the audit came out to about $14 million. And so, you know, you, you take those two into account and, and, you know, right off the top, that says that we can't afford this bond. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza.